You've seen the best, now see uh, this. From the early couple months of the Game Boy's life comes this pinball game that's just covered in gators. Just thick on the ground, mate. Crikey, isn't that beautiful? Too raw. And other Australian affectations, which is kind of strange when you get right down to it considering this is a Japanese game at its core. That's right, it was produced by Nintendo's own HAL Laboratories, so if you're looking at this and going, man, that really looks like Kirby's Pinball Land, then you're a paragraph ahead of what I'm writing right now. Get back in my timeline. I'll play some footage as you do. All right, are we all back on the same basic page of space-time now? Good. Because, yeah, it looks, feels, and smells a whole lot like Kirby's Pinball Land. I just needed an effectual segue into that break. Revenge of the Gator features the same kind of multi-story pinball action that you'd probably never see in the real world, but what works just fine in the realm of video gaming. It's not like Pokemon Pinball, which played like one big table most of the time. This variety of game mostly consists of several much smaller tables, each with their own flippers and targets and gimmicks and spinners and whatnot, just stacked on top of each other with small ramps or targets that lead from one to the next. In this case, to get from the bottom to the next board, you have to hit this hole in the corner and get whacked upward by a tail, that is, if you remember to hold the right flipper up, while this door can be opened by hitting these three left drop targets and then hitting maybe the smallest ramp in the history of pinball at speed. I might be wrong on the historical aspect, though. Let me ring Bowen Karens and see what he has to say. So, yeah, it's a pinball game absolutely infested by alligators and possessed by a degree of difficulty that was fortunately dialed back a bit for Kirby's outing. That said, from a functional standpoint, it's more or less unassailable. It's a pinball game that functions as a pinball game, end of list. The music's cheerful but can get repetitive, the sound effects are probably going to sound very familiar, truth be told. And if I mention that the whole thing's covered in alligators? who go so far as to perform a stupid musical number, complete with dance, on the title screen. I could just loop this and run out for a burger while you're all entranced by dancing alligators. All right, I don't have it in my heart to do that, but if you absolutely must have more really video gaming, not at all physically sound digital computer pinball of lies on your Game Boy, or, let's be completely honest, your 3DS because it's on the virtual console and I don't see either of us shelling off for batteries now or at any further point in the future, then you can obtain Pinball colon Revenge of the Apostrophe Gator without fear. Also, I'm officially done with batteries. That's half the reason I don't use my Wii anymore.